Good day everybody. Welcome Hola. back to, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. So I'm guessing you can guess that we are in Mexico once again. The bucket hat ranches are back in town. Do you like the hats? What do you think about them? Do you like these hats? <laughs> sí. These are our little festival hats from the UK that we're using in Mexico here because it's a very nice day, it's very hot. Anyway, as you just saw, we are visiting a little place here called Egg Balam. It's an old archaeological site here in Mexico, some old ruins and um, they weren't really discovered until the 1980s really, they weren't mapped out and everything until then. Uh, so they were a little bit more off the beaten path than the likes of uh, Chichen Itza and uh, this place is just 25 kilometers north of a place called Valladolid. So we thought we'd come here, get off the beaten path a little bit because many people are in Mexico now traveling and we're just trying to find little places that not too many people come to, you know, so this place looks really interesting. So without further ado, we're going to head in now and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the history of this place. Egg Balam, meaning Black Jaguar in the Yucatecan Mayan language, was constructed between 100 BC and 300 AD and continued until about 700 to 900 AD. In the early days, the population grew and the city expanded. In time, the population decreased dramatically, unfortunately, down to 10% of its highest during the post-classic period. While the entire settlement covers 12 kilometers square, only one tenth of the area can be visited, with most of it still covered in jungle. How amazing and exciting is that? The layout of the site is surrounded by two concentric walls, which served as a defense against attack. So in theory, it was a little bit like Conway, our local little town in North Wales. Anyways, let's head on in to Egg Balam. Okay, so we're just coming up to the first first part of the ruins here. Check this out, man. So old, and you're actually the difference here as well compared to some of the places. They actually let you walk within the walls like this. Check it out. So what you also have here as well is a cenote, which is a fresh water pool. There's thousands of them on the Yucatan Peninsula here, and um, there's one within the grounds here as well. I think you have to pay extra for that. It's surprisingly busy today. Fabiola's just told me that it's the school holidays here in Mexico, so there's a lot more people than we thought there was going to be, to be honest with you, but we'll see how we feel. We might go for a swim. Maybe go for a swim, no? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it we feel after this. See? See, of course. Ah, the we are going. is beautiful. We are going for a swim. Fabiola's been before, so yeah. I've just dragged her for the second time. See. Si. Gracias for coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's go and check more of these ruins out anyway. The main one here is called El Tor. We're kind of walking towards it, I think, because I can see a fairly high building beyond these trees here. That, my friends, is a bunch of caterpillars. How random is that? All getting prepared to grow some wings. Like this one here, look. You see him? There he is. One day, my friends, you shall be one of them. So here we go. <laughs> we just caught a huge group of people hiking up the main ruin here called El Tor, as I was just saying. Beautiful, man. More paths going along there. So do you think we should go up? You coming up, Bobby? See? Si. Yeah, she's coming up. I'll get her up now. Let's go. Yeah, so here we've got some of the old original carvings into the stone here. Some more up here, some up here. You're not allowed to go in there, unfortunately, but understandable. Yeah, so this is right at the base of El Torre, which we're going to climb now. Let's go. She beat me. How did she beat me? You say. How did you beat me up here, Bobby? Ah, check this out, man. 
All those carvings in here. Let me get a little closer from that. Okay, so that was to the left. And here we've come to the right of the stairway. And again, loads of carvings and stuff. Imagine just what went on back in the day. An old statue here, headless. And again. It's amazing. Amazing. Amazing that they preserve these kind of places, you know. I'm not going to show you the view from here yet because we're only halfway up. And, but already it's wow. <laughs> yeah. Let's wait until we get to the top of these stairs. We're just having a little breather. Fabiola needed a rest. So we have to stop. <laughs> Anyways, let's crack on. Okay. The last few steps. Are you ready, folks? Are you ready for the view? Are you ready? Check this out. I'm gonna have to zoom in to uh, so you can see the ruins. You can see the tops of the other ones here. But like I was just saying before, this place is about one mile square. And the whole, the whole site supposedly is like 12 kilometers square. So all of this, there'll be loads of other ruins and stuff within there somewhere. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing in time, they'll reveal it all, whether that happens in my lifetime or not, who knows. But, but just for them, it's amazing though. Okay. Anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to zoom in on this little bit for you, and I can see someone else hiking up another tomb there, so I'm going to be up there in a minute. Pure Mayan jungle. Amazing. So we need to get back down these steps that we just come up. But unfortunately, we've got a little friend. Or well, fortunately, we've got a little friend. Check him out. Hello, Mr. Lizard. How are you doing today? Are we allowed to go down? Can we pass, por favor? It's Fabiola versus the lizard. Pero te puedo saltar? Okay, <laughs> Fabiola won in the end. <laughs> well, after that little interesting fight with a lizard, let's head on down. And uh, I think we're going to go and see. I think we'll see more of what we wanted to see before on the left hand side here, the carvings, because the whole group has left, I believe. Anyways, let me concentrate. So, this is what we were looking at before. But a little bit closer to pull this out, man. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Well, I guess it's time to head on back down, eh? Continue with the steps and let's go and see the rest of what we haven't seen, basically. So Fabiola's just noticed there's a little door opening here. Let's go and have a look. What's occurring? Look, we've got an old bench. An old bench here. A load of old rubble. All numbered actually. Check this out. Some of these have got numbers on and letters. Yeah, they all have by the looks of it. Very interesting, eh? What did this little place used to be used for, I wonder?
There's another one up in here too. Nice. Yeah, all of these stones are numbered. I'm guessing they have to keep tabs on everything, right? All the stones that they take out, they have to make note of them and everything. Amazing. Anyway, I've just come through the side of the wall and this just runs down, 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 down. Amazing, man. Just to think what used to go on here. Oh, look at this. There's another little path that just leads to I don't know where. No idea. But it keeps continuing here. Fabiola's just waiting for me there. But I'm just going to run around quickly. Let's go and have a quick nosy. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Look. It's another little stairway. Stairway to heaven. Do not go. No entrada. But anyway, let's just go. I always want to know what's around the corner, folks. You should know me by now. Let's go and check it out. Well, it just goes on and on and on. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> Best head back, eh? I want to know what's beyond. <laughs> That's the problem with me coming to these places. They're just little offshoots. There's little paths going here, there and everywhere. And I just want to know where every single path leads to. There's another opening there. I guess it's just going to be the same as the other ones. Let's go and check it out first, I'll show you. Oh, someone's keeping a little strip in here. Very nice. But yeah, all of them are numbered once again. That would be one hell of a jigsaw, eh? One hell of a jigsaw to put back together. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just going to continue through. Hey, we've got a little friend here. We've got another... Little lizard, don't be scared, mister. It's okay. I come in peace. Ah, he's gone. Anyways, look at this. Where the building meets the jungle. These are the kind of little paths that I absolutely love. Don't ask me why. No, say. I don't know why. But probably because no one else comes down here. Let's go and investigate. Let's leave the crowds behind and investigate. Look at this. We are in proper Mayan world, people. Real Mayan world. I mean, more bits of ruin here. All of these fallen stones clearly would have been something at some point. This path just continues down here. Oh, no one else has come in here. No one else here. Silence, listen. Nothing. Anyway, let's go a little bit further. See what we can find. Look at this, man. There's just paths going off into the jungle. Another path down there. Let's go down this tiny one for a little bit. To be honest with you, I don't really want to get eaten by any oof, any snakes or anything, to be honest with you. There could be anything living here. Check this out, man. Oh my god. More stones. I don't think I'm going to go any further, to be honest with you. But to think that I am stood in an ancient archaeological site where thousands of years ago Mayan people decided to settle here and create this amazing, amazing place. And here I am on my own in the middle of the forest. Magical man, magical. Loads of butterflies flying around. Anyway, let's head back. Head back to civilization. So I've just come back to the, the outside of the, the temple here. And uh, just told Fabiola, give me two more minutes. Give me two more minutes to explore. She's cool, man. She's taking photos and all sorts. So I just want to explore this. 
part where no one else seems to be. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's a little, there's a little path going through here, even look. stone you can see stone structure here too look at that I don't know if you can see this it's like a little cave in there whoa this is unreal man this is unreal um, and like I said there's many, many cenotes around here. So underneath us right here. Oh my God, look at this. Look at that hole. Can you see that? That's just a hole going God knows where, what. There's holes in the ground everywhere, folks. Like I was just about to say, there's thousands of cenotes on this peninsula. They'll be all under this ground here, you know? So who knows where them holes that we've just seen them, where they would lead to. And that's what's so fascinating about this area. Fascinating, man. And here we are. Back to civilization. Back too far. <laughs> Let's head on to the next tower then, see if we can climb the next one. Here we go. It's all opening up into another section of the ruins here. Just beyond these trees is the other thing that we're gonna climb. Check this out. Just another small little room, but look at the way they've done the rooms. They've, they, you know, they're arched like this, out of stone. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> okay. So this is the one we're going to climb. Hopefully we'll get a nice little view of the one that we've just been at. El Toro. Fabiola can't wait to get to the top of this, check her out. Bloody hell, athlete of the year. Let me join you, let me join you. <laughs> here we go folks, here we go. It's in here first. Nothing much. Are you ready for the view of the big one? There you go. Let me just zoom in on that. So there you go. In the distance you can see El Tor. The one we've just been at. Unbelievable man, look at this. So here we go. What I should what I should have mentioned before as well is that there are 45 structures here. This is structure number 10. So they've numbered all of the, the buildings that they found here, you know? So there's 45, 45 that they're aware of so far that are here. Unbelievable. Anyways, yeah, I should walk up them steps, should I? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, check it out. All stone here, all bits of stone here too. We have this small little structure, check it out. Oh my days. I'm a little bit claustrophobic to be fair, but it's a mini version of what we've seen. I'm very sweaty. It's warm in here folks, let's get out of that. But yes, 45 structures in this area that they know of. The size of this tree, folks, huge, eh? There's Fabiola for reference. She's five foot three, <laughs> five foot four, uh, push. And what's this called, Barbie, you think? Saber. Saber, she thinks it's a saber. We'll double check on that, but what a stunning, stunning tree. Huge leaves, uh, huge branches, sorry. And then you've got these ruins as a backdrop. What? What? Well, folks, that was that. That was Ekbalam. We're going to go to the Sonota now to cool down. It's proper humid. It's proper sweaty. It's proper hot. So I think the Sonota is going to be very inviting. C 
Se no te chanche. And just like that, folks, we're ready for the beach. <laughs> or ready for the cenote, should I say. It's just down here. You have to drive a mile away from the from the ruins to here. I thought the cenote was right by the ruins, but no, it's it's a mile into the jungle basically. Just a very small like a small little road like you just saw. But anyways, this is the entrance. Here you go. First you have to take a shower, clean all the shit off you, and then you're, you're allowed in then. So let's go and take a shower. Well here we go. Check this out. This is a cenote. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be like this, to be honest with you. Check that out. down there, walk down here, all the way along here, and in. So yeah, the Yucatan Peninsula, thousands and thousands of these. Oh, this is pretty dodgy. <laughs> oh, when I'm going down these, you just look literally... There she is, all prepared with a rubber ring. Safety first. And there's loads of little black fish in here. And Fabiola was just telling me they like to suck your skin. They're the ones that like to clean you. So let me go and see if I can get a close up on them. Floating Fabiola. This one here. Beautiful, look at that man. This is one of the better ones that I've ever seen to be honest with you. Stunning. And as you may or may not know, I'm not a very good swimmer. <laughs> but I like to float, so this has to come on. Let's go in man. Here the little fishes. <laughs> there we go folks, that was the cenote and it's just started to rain, the rains have come in. <laughs> 